Hey guys, it's Matt. I don't really understand what I just saw. Um, I don't understand why there's no response to it from the so-called Flat Earth community. The Flat Earth researchers, to me, have always been brothers in a fight. Uh, most of them are legitimate. I have always come out and said, NASA lies about everything. But that's as far as I'm going to go. I'm not going to put myself in a camp, a camp of two possibilities. I, in this wondrous very strange place in which we live, there might be a trillion possibilities we're not seeing between less filling and taste great, between flat and round. So I don't, I don't throw myself into that camp, but the researchers on that side have been my brethren because we exposed together the endless NASA lies. But I really can't, this, is, this person, Mark Sargent, is supposed to be a, one of the original leaders of the community. Uh, he makes himself out to be a fool on purpose for money in a commercial and I'd go to look for the response from the community it's not there or I haven't seen it um, he still has 80,000 subscribers this Mark Sargent guy he should have zero zero after what he did um, I'm in getting involved and, and not thrilled about it because whatever message we try to get out to people we are lumped into the same camp as any conspiracy group we are to the people around us we are lumped in the same camp as anybody that would proclaim themselves to be a flat earther I, and I've said many times to, to use that name is insane uh, say we're a group that tries to point out that NASA lies about everything to, to use the name that carries the number one stigma of insanity that the system itself laid down and introduced is insane but now one of the leaders comes out and makes a fool of himself on, on for a commercial for money <laughs> sell talk about the biggest sellout in the world and there's no response from the community it takes someone like me who's not even in the community to give a response on this I mean what what is going on we live in some sort of twilight world I mean what really concerns me is we have the system we have this group over here called truth there's different facets of it. There's those that investigate different things. But at least we thought, whether wherever we disagreed on certain areas or certain facts, we thought we could could count on each other. Then this comes out, and I know I never put any stock in Mark Sargent. I don't know who he is. I don't. I didn't. I'm not. I don't follow the flat Earth community. Every once in a while, an ODD video pops up. I'll watch it. Great. Every once in a while, somebody will make fun of the ISS. Great, let's make fun of the ISS. It should be made fun of. It's a joke. Um, but but where's the community on, on what this guy just did to the community? I, I'll, let me just show you. It's, this is um, absolutely unbelievable. Fools. They are easily, even flat earth expert Mark Sargent could use it. A bloke who thinks space is fake. I could do this standing on my head. Thanks, gravity. It's even... a case of peace. It's better when it's flat. He's just a tapping. So, the commercial introduce a bunch of fools out to make fun of everybody that's going to be in the commercial. And the voiceover actor actually comes on and says, fools, right when they show Mark Sargent. I mean, are you kidding me? I don't know what's going on here. Uh, where's Double O and Roxanne? Where where are your people on this? Where are you at? Where's where's ODD on this? Why isn't this guy down to twenty subs from eighty thousand? Um, where's Jaronism and Globebusters and all this stuff on this guy? It takes me to come out and say something. Now maybe there are a bigger response. I looked briefly. I didn't see anything. I didn't see much. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. Um, you know, it makes all of us look bad. Um, and, and I'm going to be a little bit more hardcore on potential people in the truth community that are just completely fake. I'm not sure how much of this community is compromised. Maybe it's 90%. Um, but honestly, at this point, guys... I mean, after what Mark Sargent just did, if there's any question, I've been saying this for years. If you are in a, a, a flat earth group like Roxanne and Double O, okay, I'm not, pick, pick on you, sorry, I've, been, I've watched several of your videos, I like you, I think you're all good people. 
But if you call yourself flat earthers in this day and age, considering the stigma that's been tied to that, it's insane. Come up with anything else. Um, we are a group that represents that NASA's lied about everything. Come up with something, a tricky name. But if you lead publicly that you are in a flat earth group, considering every single American from the day they've been born has been programmed programmed to believe that is the most insane thing ever put forth in this world and you keep using that terminology then you're either dumb as can be or actually like probably like Mark Sargent working on behalf of the system if you're the system and you've created all these NASA lies and all this bullcrap as to what space is all about what would you do to protect your your ruse you would create a group of people running around talking about words like flat earth these all these words are introduced by the system itself now we have deep fake where'd that come from deep fake deep fake deep fake deep fake it's all over the place Deep. I, whenever these words come up, they are of the system itself. Is that some truther came up with deep fake? This is the, you're using the term that they, the absolute top of the pyramid, wants you to use. Where'd ground zero come from? Introduced. They introduced these terms and latched them on to something they want to manipulate. First brought forth by Harley Guy, then used in millions of news stories about 9-11. Um, ground Zero. Grassy Knolls, the same thing. Where'd that come from? Grassy, well, it just rolls off our tongue now. It just seems completely normal. Well, nobody knows what the fuck a Grassy Knoll is. It's, it, it's introduced and latched onto an event. An event that's basically fake and crafted by the system. The new one's deep fake. Well, guys, if in, in the Flat Earth community, if you haven't realized, Flat Earth's one of these terms. Either choose to abandon it now or there's something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. 